Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Good morning, Calvary. Pastor Chad here with your word for the day and happy Friday. I hope you're ready to join us for a great weekend of worship this uh, weekend after Thanksgiving. Hey, today we are looking at one of the best promises in scripture. At least if, you know, all of them are great, but this is one that's it's got just a, a punch to it. The Apostle Paul is writing to the Philippians, thanking them for their generosity towards him and his ministry. They've been one of the only churches just constantly supporting him and sending him offerings to help him survive and thrive as he's doing ministry. And so Philippians chapter 4, as we're wrapping up Philippians, simply says this in verses 18 through 20. Paul says, I have received full payment and more. I am well supplied having received from Epaphroditus the gifts you sent, a fragrant offering, a sacrifice acceptable and pleasing to God. And here's the promise. And my God will supply every need of yours according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. To our God and Father be glory forever and ever. Amen. So did you catch that promise? My God shall supply all your needs according to his riches in glory. Isn't that assuring and frustrating? Because so often we confuse our needs and our wants, right? And so when we confuse our needs and our wants, we get frustrated because God doesn't give us what we think we need, but um, God is still meeting our needs. See, we complain sometimes because our Heavenly Father has not indulged our wants. Um, so today, can I just encourage you to hold on to the promise that my God shall supply all of your needs according to his riches and glory, and, and do that by thanking God for his blessings. I mean, yesterday was the official holiday of Thanksgiving. Hopefully Thanksgiving is a part of every day of your life. But today, thank God for all of the blessings in your life. And that should be a long list. And if you struggle with this right off the top of your head, sit down with a piece of paper at the table and just start saying, God, thank you for, and list all the things in this life that you were thankful for. And you'll be surprised. You'll fill up that piece of paper quickly and you'll need another one. So thank God for all of his blessings, and then ask God for your needs, for your real needs. You know, and, and needs are usually food, clothing, shelter, safety, health, things like that. Go ahead and ask God for your needs. He promises to meet those. And for those of you who are going, well, does that mean he's going to heal me? Well, yeah, God will either heal you and make you better for a little while, or he'll heal you and make you best for eternity. Either way, you're going to get better. Uh, and then go to God and request your wants. It's, it's okay to ask God for what you want. Now, if you don't get what you want, James uh, chapter 4 kind of explains some of that why, but, but here's, your, here's what you need to know. Jesus tells us that when we ask God, he's going to respond as a loving parent. He he's actually reminds us in Matthew 7 that, hey, uh, what, who, pers who among you is going to give his son a stone if he asks for bread or a serpent if he asks for a fish? Okay, in other words, if, and then he says, if you being evil know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more your heavenly Father knows how to give good gifts to those who ask. So go ahead and ask for your wants, knowing that God will respond as a loving, perfect parent. He will say yes to some, he will say no to some, and he will say wait for some. And our maturity is demonstrated by our response when God says no. Uh, do we throw a temper tantrum like my three-year-old granddaughter? Or do you maturely trust God to say, you know what's best and I will wait for you? In any case, take heart because my God will supply all your needs according to his riches and glory. Hope that blesses you. Have a great day.